Hello, it's Jimmy here. The release looking at a uh, Renault Kajar here is the 2018 1.5 DCI. Okay, inside the vehicle we have a check injection sign, spanner light, and engine management light on there. Okay, I'm going to use my launch Eurotab 3. We're going to set up a diagnostic scan. Try and zoom that out a bit so we can see better. Automatic search. Kajar. And we'll do a high speed scan. Okay, looks like we have three faults within the ECM. Rad, what's that? USB connectivity. So, okay, I'm not really worried about that. Uh, pressure upstream of the turbine. Okay, so like the Vivaros I've done before. Pressure upstream of the turbine, invalid signal, starter relay. Alright, let's go in here. So this is going to be the injection fault, this uh, pressure upstream of the turbine. So we're going to go to the live data for that. Upstream. Pressure upstream of the turbine. 1022 millibars. Give it a rev up. See, it takes a very long time to go up, and it also takes a long time to come down after you've revved it. So, once you give it a rev up, there's a delay when it comes down. So, it's a blockage in the pipe. So, these things they are a bit sooty, and when the DPF starts to get blocked up, it backs up, up the uh, pipe in the manifold that goes to the pressure sensor. Now, let's go back from there. Okay, having a look at the engine, 1.5 DCI. We have the sensor right here. Now you'd imagine, yeah, it's very easy to access, but the sensor itself is easy. But the pipe that comes from it runs all the way down there. So like a wiggly snake, left, right, left, right, down to the intake manifold. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get something down there to clean it out. So first, just going to get a pliers here onto this clip around the back, we'll get that off. And we can come over here, pull this back, try and get your nail behind that clip and get that out. That's the power supply. Now we can, we should be able to wiggle this out, but uh, I suppose it would make it a little bit more easier for you to access if we remove this bracket right here. Okay, so we've got a little 8mm bolt there from that. And now we should be able to just pull this out. There we go. And a little bit of a wiggle and she's out. Okay, I've removed that now from the tube there. That's the pressure sensor. Now what we need to do is get down this little hole here and get that tube, that metal pipe that runs down there. Snakes down in there, we need to get that cleared out. Okay, so I've got this drill with some cable on it. We need to get that cable down here. Now you probably see that when I try and get it down there, it doesn't go very far, about this deep. And it's blocked with the black soot that you can see there. So what I'm doing is just drilling that while I'm feeding it inwards with my other hand. And we seem to have got it in a fair piece. I've got it in about that long now. I mean, look at the size of the diameter of that tube. What could go wrong when you've, when you've got a diesel sooty engine? It's obviously going to keep locking up. It's a big problem with these engines. I've done so many now. So if I check on my gauge here, it doesn't look like we've got all the way through just about yet because we still have a fair amount of pressure in there. Okay, now I've filled this tube with some brake cleaner and I've just built the pressure back up. Let that brake cleaner sit in there for a few minutes. See if it'll soak its way down. Oh, it's come off. Okay, we've got to connect it again now. We're just going to let that sit there. Let it soak for a few minutes. And then we'll try again with this cable. What we want to see is on here, we don't want to see any pressure at all. We don't want to see this gauge moving. Okay, we've had another go with the drill. And that seems to have done the trick. Because we're not moving any pressure. Tiny amount of jump there. You know? 
So we're going to get now the DPF cleaner down here, get that cleaned out properly. So now we connect up this pressurised gun here, we connect it down to there using a rubber piece of hose and we should now be able to squeeze the trigger, blast this cleaning fluid down there to clean that hole out. Uh, we couldn't do this before because obviously the hole being block solid, the fluid needs to travel through it to be able to clean it so now we are able to do that. Squeezing the trigger through there we can see that the fluid is flowing through it. And that is going through at 130 psi connected there to my compressor so that is the fluid that we're using there in the gun launch UK DPF cleaning fluid that has now made its way down the tube so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the engine blow out any of the excess fluid that's left in the tube wait for the steam to go away then we can connect back on our sensors Okay, now that's all cleared out, we can switch the engine off and get everything reconnected back up. Okay, we are all connected back together. Now let's get back inside the car, start it up. Now we can see a better reading here from that. A lot more instantaneous when you rev it. As you can see it goes up, down nice and quick. All the way up, 23, back down. Now we can clear the fault codes, ignition is on, okay, check that they're cleared. Okay, all fault codes are cleared, lights have disappeared, we've still got a spanner light over there which is a service indication. Okay, so that's basically it with all of this car now, we've cleared the codes, cleaned the pipe out, all is good. So that's it, we'll be all finished and see you on our next video.